Hello and welcome to This Is. That was an aggressive intro. You, Why are you yelling so much, man? Because I like to yell. Here we are in our fine sponsors of Micro Center with another awesome, cool. I was trying to see how far back it was. Tier <laughs> list. Kinsey has put together an expertly crafted list of some of the most creative and cool gaming PCs of all time, theoretically. So today, we're going to be ranking them from S to F, short for fart. A fart rank. The goal here is simple. We're going to be looking at a number of gaming PCs that have been lovingly crafted. Matt, are you ready to judge other people's hard work? Oh and yeah, I love judging people. First up we have the Pac-Man arcade cabinet. Oh, Ooh. oh! look at the water cooling in that thing though. This is using the one-up Pac-Man cabinet. The idea is that this is meant to be like a very faithful recreation of the original arcade cabinet, in this case, Pac-Man. But what this sort of person has done, has built a full custom loop water system in the bottom parts. It has the actual Pac-Man pellets on the bottom, which is sick. How do you feel about Pac-Man? I love Pac-Man. I'll be honest. I don't, never, don't, I never no, had like oh a strong God. affinity for Pac-Man. It was never a game that really grabbed me in the way that maybe it was a, if I was as old as Back you. Back when Pizza Hut used to be a sit down restaurant, they had double dragons and they had Pac-Man. And I would play Pac-Man a whole bunch because yeah. Double Dragons was usually taken. So this is rocking an 8086. So that was actually the limited edition of the Core i7. So this is obviously a couple of years old. It had an RTX 2080 inside. It had a bunch of SSDs, 32 gigs of RAM, 850 watt thermal take power supply. This is high quality and really impressive. I think I, we got to go like A tier. I, it has to be A. I never want to give S first. Yeah, I agree. But A tier, man. That's mm. really, really strong. All right. Mm. All that's right. a good, that's a strong start. All right. Next up we have the Wassenkammer. This is very steampunky. That's sick. It's German for the water chamber, which just sounds like a torture device. I took German in college. Okay, hit me, hit me. Give me some German. Guten Tag. The front is an active plasma disc and a PC fan grill. And it uses textured vinyl for the wood effect around it. I love the Nixie tube clock on the top. Is that real copper? Did someone actually do a hardline copper loop in this system? Yes, with soldering. This goes above and beyond. Wow. This is like a plumber who did this. So it does have an RX 5700 XT, so it's an all AMD build. And you have a one terabyte SSD with a four terabyte hard drive, 16 gigs of RAM. Well, it's aged. I mean, yeah, that was mid-range even that's, a few years that's ago. Okay. I was tempted to give this like an A or B. We have to consider, do we have a large number of very exciting fancy systems here? We can't just go out and be throwing A, 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 A's. Even the F tier that we choose is still gonna be, I'm sure, a very cool system. Yeah, I have a feeling like every one of these is gonna be amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I'm feeling <sighs> B or C. I'll I give you the B. The soldered tubing yeah. is is what's saving this thing. It's oh my god, it's so cool. Your turn, my dude. All right, next up. I don't Whoa. know what I'm looking at. So this is the spirit of motion. This looks like a 1930s like fancy car. The panels are in the grill are made out of aluminum. The side wow. panels are CNC'd. This is as custom as custom gets. We gotta give this some major points. Like, that is really impressive. They literally painted with five coats and clear coat, wet sanded, coated again, like over and over and over again. Like, I bet it's, you see this thing in person, it looks phenomenal. Oh, oh look, and the whole wait. thing hinges up. Hinges up like that. Oh my God, that's sick. Ooh. It is using only a Ryzen 5 3600. Again, this is using a 2080 FE. We gotta make a decision here, right? Because the case itself, the amount of work that went into the CNC milling and all this kind of stuff is phenomenal. Like honestly, S tier, easy S tier. But can we give an S tier to a gaming PC, which is honestly really not a great gaming PC. I was about to advocate for an S until I saw the specs. I still, I think it's an A. I, yeah. If that had better specs, I would have said S. So that's fair enough. Still A though. A, very, very strong. Yeah, like, I like how we're like, oh, this is a piece of crap. Still gonna be still better like, than anything I've ever built. Yeah, yeah. All right. Next up we have number four. Oh. So someone made me into a PC case. The Barabite made by Peter Isaacson in the 90s for his wife. So this is actually a retro PC. So this was built in the 90s. The bear is from Ikea, which I mean, plus of course it's, so it's probably named It's got a Pentium 3 in there. And LGR cleaned it up. They put a new hard drive in there. It's running Windows ME. Oh, F tier. It mm -hmm. runs Fatty Bear's birthday surprise. 
stop. You know what? I'm gonna put F tier for a couple reasons. First of all, because Windows ME. Second of all, because you keep saying the word bear and I don't <sighs> like it. Rawr. With it being covered in a stuffed bear, you'd think that heat would be such an issue. <laughs> But apparently because the specs are so old, it's not powerful yeah. at all. He's really not. But he's seen an upgrade. Have you seen? He got the GPU upgrade because he wasn't running a GPU before. He can run Need for Speed 3. Here. Here's the thing. F tier, F tier for Windows ME. If we're ever gonna find an F tier out of all these things, yeah. you said bear enough times and it's F tier. I all right. slurped my Red Bull a little too hard. I think there's Red Bull on my eye right now. Which is a perfect segue to tell you all about the fine sponsor here today, Micro Center. If you come by the Tesla store, you might find your buddies Austin and Matt recording one day. But on top of that, they're opening a brand new store in Charlotte, North Carolina very soon. So make sure to go check it out at the link in the description. You can get yourself a free 128 gigabyte flash drive by signing up and showing up at the store once it's open. Next up, we have... What the This hell? is the Nerd Forge Neon City PC. So they brought the panels to LTT, who they actually built the inside for. Some of you might have seen this at LTX because it was auctioned off for charity. Obviously, because it was uh, uh, LTT was involved, that's going to knock it out. At least that's two tiers. F, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, we, we only know. talk about good YouTubers and we, channels that are we, actually good. You know, not bad ones that, you know, Linus is in. Of the ones we've seen so far. This is the one I would be afraid to ever touch. Ever. Oh, absolutely. For that reason, I'm, I want to ding it. I would say like, just because of how potentially fragile this is, a C. I will give you a C because it's not, not bad, but Linus touched it and that really just degrades it, it much like Windows and me would. I'm feeling okay about our tier list right now. This actually I, feels decent. I also am feeling okay about let's, our tier let's list. Let's ruin it. Oh, okay. This is the Barbie sleeper PC. This is Shank Mods. You can actually see this by checking out the link in the description on the Micro Center forum, where you can also submit your own very cool PC builds. If this PC is not enough for you, <laughs> then I don't know what is. Not only a sleeper build, yeah. but it's also time accurate as far as functioning floppy disk and CD drive. Also has a Barbie printer and two, not one, but two, Barbie camera. I don't know where he finds this stuff. So how do we judge this one? Because it's really well done. Where does it stand among the pantheon of greats that we have here? And I gotta say, as much as I love you, Shane, bottom tier. I, yeah. It's I, cool, It's but is it the coolest? The reason I want to ding this is because yeah. it doesn't look like too much of actual mod went into this. D for dope, but lower on the ranking list? D for dope, but lower on the rankings. So I'm feeling okay about, we've got like our options open, but I would advocate for as soon as we see an incredibly dope, no brainer kind of system, straight to S tier. Let's not save it to the end if we can avoid it. Let's do this. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is one of some Doctor Who stuff. Matt, tell yes. me about Doctor Who. So I am a big fan of Doctor Who. Are you a Whoville? I would say I'm Whovillian adjacent. This is a Dalek. Do you know who the Daleks are? This looks like it was a project from the 1950s because that's how old Doctor Who is and then they never made a better version of them. That is correct. The gold bits are made out of 3D printed rings and molded foam. The whole thing opens up to the Dalek creature inside because this is actually just a battle armor. Okay, so if we're gonna get into this. Please do. So the Daleks come from a guy named Davos. Sorry, are we done with the? Oh, sorry, we're back. Yeah, okay, like, got it. Yeah. So, got in the montage for a minute. <laughs> Here's the thing: I'm gonna have to abstain from ranking this one because I respect it. Like, there's a clearly an enormous amount of work that went into not only the PC, which is very high end, but also the actual craftsmanship of the chassis, if you want to call it that. But I don't know anything about Doctor Who. It looks accurate, but I'm gonna completely leave this up to you. I'd say this is maybe like two thirds scale. Same. I can't think of an S more than this. I'm giddy over this. I think this might be the first time ever in one of these where I've actually let you choose the S completely on your own. <laughs> the only thing that could be an S plus tier would be like something Star Trek, I think. Next up, we have the Piñata Spheres. Piña Sphere? Go play with your Piña Sphere. So this is a fully 3D printed system, which I will immediately give huge points for because as someone who has tried to work with 3D printed stuff in the past, it's real hard to do an entire PC with all your mounting points and everything. This is 27 3D printed parts. They were then cleaned up with precision cutters to yeah. sort of get the entire thing put together. The texture was inspired by pineapples and pine cones. I just love the idea that he's just like, 
What if PC was orb? I have nothing bad to say about this. It looks like it was thoughtfully designed. I think I'm more impressed than anything with the craftsmanship of the cable management and how sort of tight this entire thing was. This has got to be A. Like, it has to be. It has to be. Just the craftsmanship alone, phenomenal. Some people might ask, how did we not put that in S tier? Well, because dogs are in S tier and the Toclophane are clearly not as oh God, good of a not villain. Again. Did oh. our good friend Jimmy Champagne over at PS Ready and Deck Ready make this one? Because this Mike Myers PC build is dope. So this is also one that you could find on the Micro Center forums. Check out the links in the description. It's cool. Dude, this one is dope. It is, while a very solid system, a little bit outclassed compared to some of the insane custom stuff that we've Correct. been looking at. What does elevate this one, though, is they use the actual blood from their victims <laughs> in the... It does seem like it's largely sort of centered around the idea that it's the white case, a very clean, you know, bit of cable management and whatnot. This is, I think, the most practical that we've seen. It is. I agree. That, like, I, like this would be cool to have in a room. Obviously, a lot of these would be cool to have in a room, but, like, how practical are they? The quality of these other systems yeah. is just on another level. This is a really good modded system in a standalone environment. D. This is also like the best actual PC that we've yeah, seen. Yeah, 12900K, 4070, 64 gigs of RAM. Yeah, it's it's well done, but ultimately it's a little bit more similar to something like a standard nice gaming yeah, PC with like yeah. some custom paint job and a screen versus something that's fully custom. Yeah, I'll okay. I'll give you D. Sorry, Jimmy. You're a goofy goober, yeah. <laughs> I'm a goofy goober, yeah. We're all goofy goobers! Yeah. The SpongeBob PC. So this is an EVGA case that was covered in foam, and then the arms, the legs, the nose, all that attaches with magnets so you can actually like transport and everything. Smart. Shoes are made out of a yoga block. The legs are made out of PVC pipe. Mm -hmm. The eyes are clay, which is a little bit disturbing. And the airflow is covered up because he's got holes because he's a sponge. It makes sense. I don't love the gaps on the front. Like it feels like this is one of those cases that looks good only from a distance at a certain angle. As soon as you start to look at it a little bit closer, yeah. it starts to fall apart a little bit. See? Well, here's the the big question is when you start it up, does it go, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready, ready, I'm ready, ready I'm ready. Then D. D. Ooh, Ooh, that's nice. The RGB beige box. Yeah. This is another one from the Micro Center forums by user hero0015. They named it the Bostons. This is perfect for Windows 98, so we don't have to ding it. A solid sleeper build? Yeah, it's good. There's a lot of cooling going on in here. This is well done. I don't think it can be incredibly high. I Again, think it's gotta be in like- the, In the context yeah. of like the craftsmanship, I'm not scoffing at this as a PC, but I'm going F. D. F. I'll give you D because they, they made the, the window pane. Well, now I wanna put SpongeBob up higher. Where do you want SpongeBob then? C then. Fine. The sneaker axe. Do you wish your racing shoes was also a PC? It's not racing shoes. It's a sneaker. So this won the Cooler Master Case Mod World Series, which is a thing. So Cooler Master it's, actually made this thing. Which is funny because this is definitely something that Lee and Lee would have done. This is a mini ITX form factor. The original one had an i5 and a 1060, but they liked it so much that they hyped it up. Now that Cooler Master actually sell this, you get it outfitted with much higher end components. How do we judge that then? Do you get bonus points that you made a case that was so cool that they literally turned it to an actual thing that you can purchase? We have to give it uh, bonus points. None of these others are so cool that a company said, hey, yeah, you know what? We're gonna make that now. This feels like a strong B to me because it's a little goofy, but it's mostly really cool. And the fact that it was such a cool design. Looking at it from the original made... one, not the one you can buy. Yeah, I'll give it a B. What is this? It floats. So this is the onda, which is Italian word for wave. Oh my God. This is inspired by crescent moons, the great wave, and apparently a dino skeleton. This might be the most beautiful PC I've ever seen in my entire life. Not only do you <laughs> have the symmetry of the crescent moon sort of waxing and waning. Did you really just pull out waxing and waning crescent moon? What else would you what? call this, my dude? <laughs> then you've got yourself the motherboard in the middle. You can look at this as an art piece. You can look at this as moons. You can look at this as an eye. Can I be honest? Please do. 
This makes me so uncomfortable. I will fight you if we don't put this in S tier. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. My dude, besides every like my children AI uprising sci-fi movie has a has a, like a thing floating around that looks like they this. don't look this cool. Thank you very much for watching. Make okay. sure to go check out our fine sponsor, Micro Center, at the links in the description. And all of the PCs that are available on the Micro Center forum where you can even submit your own builds. And again, don't forget that the Charlotte store is opening very soon. So check it out at the link in the description. Matt, how do you feel about our final tier list? Exterminate. Exterminate. Exterminate.